Hi, welcome back to Windy Hill Kennel. So we're gonna kick it up a notch today. We have been schnoodle, 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 schnoodle. We're going to Schnauzers. So we have bred several litters for Schnauzers and Ginger has had the first litter. Uh, Adele and Brooke are going to have uh, mid-sized puppies. They're gonna be some mid, yeah, mid size somewhere between 24 and 28 pounds. Uh, both the, are you really mad? Okay, 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 I'll move you. You wanna lay up here? He says, I just want it up. Um, anyway, both of those parents are, uh, Chaps is about 23 pounds and uh, um, Adele and Brooke are both right at 28 to 30 pounds. So I also have three Adele girls here that um, are about seven months old. They're from her last litter. And they're about 22 to 23 pounds right now, I think at this point. Um, so you're gonna have dogs that are gonna be between that 24 and 28 pounds, I think with these guys when they finish out. So the other litter we have coming, we have a litter of toy snowsers coming. And those are out of Nikki and Winston. So both of those, Nikki's about eight and a half, nine pounds. Winston's about five and a half pounds. So those puppies should range probably six to maybe 11 tops, I'm guessing. Uh, and it's a guess, you know, all I can do is tell you where mom and dad are and hopefully their weights are gonna fall within that range. So it's just kind of like cross your fingers and we make a good attempt to give you as close as we can to a, a, a weight size when they get adult, but nobody can tell you exactly because it depends on how you feed how much junk they eat um how much table food you feed them which is horrible to do to your dog but um we try and get as close as we can this litter of schnauzers is out of tigger and ginger and tigger you can actually go down to the bottom of the website page and you can see um tigger and ginger's pictures um, and I loved it. You know, everybody always says, oh, I want a dog that looks just like Ginger. Well, here you go, but it's a black and white. <laughs> it's not a chocolate and white. So we got the chocolates that she ended up having were all chocolate. And then the black and whites that she had looked just like Ginger. I can't believe how they're marked. They're just, they're incredibly looking like Ginger. It's crazy. So, um, I'm going to go through here. We'll go through and I'll give you weights microchip numbers, we microchipped them, tails are done, dew claws are done. So all that stuff is finished today. Um, so let's get started. A uh, couple things before I guess we get into this too much. If you're seeing this for the first time, uh, we don't do a whole lot of schnauzers, but this time we decided to kick it up this year and we have had so many people ask because I was a schnauzer kennel for years before I started ever having schnoodles. And I still like my schnauzers, but the, the demand for schnoodles has been so high that we just have kind of skipped over our schnauzers and we bred them for schnoodles. Um, so that's why we decided this time we'd have a couple more litters. But I think Stella's gonna have schnauzers. So we've got a litter of um, miniatures coming out of Stella and they'll be probably 14 to 19 pounds. And then uh, the toy litter and then this litter. These are gonna be minis. Um, Tigger's about 16 pounds. Ginger's about, what is she, 14, 15? Somewhere in that ballpark. So these should stay minis. Tigger's gonna downsize them a little bit. And you can tell these two are a little bit smaller than these three. And these are the females. Um, and then that's all we're gonna have planned for this year, unless we change our mind for some reason. Um, so that'll just give you an update on that. On this, If you go to our YouTube channel, and you, uh, or you're, if you're even seeing this on YouTube, but if you go over to our YouTube channel for Windy Hill Kennel, um, and you type or hit the subscribe button, every week when we do videos, it will automatically send you a notice that there's a new video. And once I load up to our website, then we automatically, or I'm sorry, once we load up to YouTube, we automatically put it right on our website. Um, all right, so before the natives get restless, let's get started, I guess. So we're gonna start with the girls, since they're the wiggliest. This is a beautiful marked black and white party female. She's really, really pretty markings. Um, she's got just gorgeous black and white legs. Um, 
She's got all white front legs, and if she'll let me flip her without scaring her, if I hold her tight, she won't be scared. She's all white on her belly, and she's white clear up her throat to her little white goatee, and she's got a little bit of white around her nose. There's a little bit of white will be there, and she's got this tiny star on her forehead. I don't think you'll ever see that once her hair grows out until you give her a haircut, and then you'll probably see that little white spot. But uh, really nice, fat, fat, healthy puppies. Ginger is a phenomenal mom. She really is a great dog. And uh, good personality. Uh, Tigger has been around with us. I don't know, Tigger's probably getting close to five or six at this point. He has gorgeous pups. 88, I'm sorry, 8900 is her microchip number. 8900, and let's see what she weighs. I'm gonna be really mean and turn this on, and you're gonna think I'm terrible because it's gonna be cold cold and you're really warm and toasty all right she is 13.6 ounces i know i'll get you off i'll get you off all right there you go lay down there she's gonna be such a pretty dog when she gets bigger such a pretty girl she says i want in the middle right here i'm going in i'm going in they really 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 like to be snuggled and swaddled tight so i'm gonna smash her in here and get her to settle back down no she's going that way She's easy to keep track of, so we're good. We have one little Tigger look-alike. This is the little Merle female. She's got really, really pretty face. She's got pretty eyes, really marked. Well, I can't see her eyes yet, but she's got really pretty markings around her eyes. Got a little bit of white on the front toes. Oh, she's gonna yawn. A little bit of white on the back toes back there. And she's got a big white tuxedo chest white up her throat, clear. She says, I'm gonna get in somewhere I'm comfortable. And uh, inside of this leg is all black at the top. I'm gonna to rotate you. She's got an almost all black leg on the back. Another big dark spot on this shoulder. That must be, uh, Ginger is telling us to bring her babies back. I hear her barking. All right, let me give you a microchip number on this one. This is 8881, all right. And these guys should have a phenomenal coat. Uh, 10.8 ounces. Oh, I know you're grumbly. You're grumbly. All right, so let's see, where's the other one? There's the girl. Now we're gonna do the boys. So this is the black and white party boy, and he is flashy. Look at the white legs, white chest, almost identical marked back legs. Got a big white star on his head. His collar goes, has a kind of a dip in it here with black, so it's easy to tell him from the female. And he's got, let me flip you over here a second. I know it, I gotcha. He's got big white throat, right up the chin. His nose will turn black. Oh, I know you're grumbling. You're all right. Yeah, you're all right. And let's see what he weighs. He is 13.8. All right, I'm just gonna spread you out since you kind of all be, got a mind of your own. Uh, let's do the chocolate. This one is the chocolate male. Oh, your fingers, my fingers in your mouth. 88.99 is his microchip number. And he has, he's actually a phantom. I just saw those legs. So these front legs, I don't know which way to turn him. All right. So if you can see these front legs, does that show the fan up? Mm -hmm. All right, so he's brown up to the knees. That means he's gonna have brown in his ears, which it's really hard to tell right now. And his little ears, if you can see there, are totally, totally closed, shut, and sealed, just like his eyes. And those will open up at about anywhere from 12 to 15 days. Nose is gonna be green, eyes are gonna be hazel green when he's done growing. He's also gonna have chocolate, <laughs> Um, he's gonna have chocolate up the back, light chocolate, I should say, this light brown is gonna go up his legs. He has the phantom marking under his tail. And if you wonder, where are you going? <laughs> she says, I'm making my way. I'm making my way somewhere. Where is she going? <laughs> no, that's another he. That, he, said, he said, I'm leaving, I'm out of here. <laughs> Places there. Oh, no, I just want to lay right there. Uh, that is riot. You know, I'm sorry, but you got to come back over here or I can keep track of you. 
Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. If you want to know what a phantom is, <laughs> all right, guys, that's far enough. If you go on the parents page and you look at Houdini, Houdini is a phantom. Uh, now, Houdini has blue eyes, and these guys are not going to have blue eyes because they're not out of Houdini. But Houdini has those light markings on the legs, on his eyebrows, and in his ears, and under his tail. So that will give you kind of an idea what this little guy is going to look like being a phantom. That didn't weigh did I? I hate to lay him on this cold thing. He is 12.8 ounces. He said, ah, oh, I'm awake now. All right. It's not that I don't trust you, but both of you, turn around. I'm gonna take Speedy Gonzales here and I'm gonna, is he black or chocolate? He's black. He's phantom. a black phantom. All right, yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I saw the phantom markings on him. So he's got phantom markings on his legs. He's gonna have phantom markings in his little ears. I said, don't touch my ears. And he's gonna have it up his back legs and he has it under his tail. So he is gonna be a phantom also, but he's gonna be a black phantom with silver trim, and this one's gonna be a black, a chocolate phantom with tan trim. All right, let's see what this one is. This one's 88.98, and he's 14.8. All right, I think he's the biggest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's the biggest. Are you good boys? Yeah, and your nose is gonna be all black, and he'll have black eyes. He won't have green. The only one that'll have green is this guy because he's a chocolate. And um, these two will have black, oh, <laughs> these two will have black eyes. So other than that, and the Merle always has the possibility of blue eyes, but we don't get them that often out of Tigger. Um, oh, this one has an itch. Oh, there goes that one. Where does that itch? I saw you start to itch. Oh, I found it. Maybe not. It says, oh, it's just stretching. Um, they're fun to play with at this age. See, yeah, you can just about do anything with them you want. So just keep them warm and roll me in a ball and I'll go back to sleep. And we got a yawn. I know it touched your mouth. So if you have any questions about these guys, um, I probably will I'll desperately try and get a newborn pictures on the website, but... It's tough this week with Thanksgiving and trying to get everybody caught up after our vacation. So, um, oh, you know what? They might do pigs in a blanket. I think you guys will do pigs in a blanket. Are you warm enough to do that? Oh, you're gonna be the stinker. He says, I'm not doing it. All right, fine, get up. Uh, I do think she's gonna be the smallest in the litter. She has the smallest diameter on her head. Uh, She's got a little bit bigger head. So, you know, Ginger's up there having a cow. So we're gonna get her babies back. We told her where we were going, but that didn't do any good. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. They're really sweet Schnauzer babies. Just remember, they're Schnauzers, they're not Schnoodles. So I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and a great dinner day. I don't wanna say turkey day because we are all against turkey this year. We're having a turkey ban in this family. <laughs> so, I hope you have a great time with your family. I hope you have a wonderful and safe holiday. And remember to thank God for all your blessings. And, you know, take a look at your family. And that's your pride and joy and everyone that you love to spend time with. Even if you don't get along with somebody in the family, they're still family. you got to remember, God gave you a, a, a grace with saving grace from the cross and forgave us of all of our sins. So... Try and make up with your family. That's the second most important thing to do after making up with God. So have a great weekend and have a great holiday and we'll talk to you next week.